Hi guys, how's it going? I think it's about time I've done a setup tour video, but before we get started, I'd like to thank each one of you guys for watching any of my videos here on YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you see anything in this video that you want to check out more, I'll leave all the links down below in the description. Uh, and if you have any questions, let me know. Without further ado, let us begin. All right, guys, we're going to start with the most boring area in my setup. This area of the setup has my 2019 MacBook that I bought used from my friend and I use a ViewSonic monitor for editing paired with a Subsoup noise cancelling headset, a Logitech MX keys and a G Pro wireless. And I use these key lights from Godox when I'm filming YouTube videos. This room actually has a guest bed in it and a 4K TV that is pretty old. It's our old TV from upstairs. To the right of all that is a bunch of stuff that I need to hang up or stuff that I need to organize. So definitely the messiest area of the setup. Moving on to my work setup, this is where I work from 9 to 5 during the weekdays. Honestly, I would like to change the way the setup works right now. I don't like the L shape for when I'm working, but for my monitors, I use two old 75 inch curved Samsung monitors powered by this Dell XPS 17 inch laptop. This machine costs around $3,000. My job bought it for me and it's a pretty good machine. It has 32 gigs of RAM and everything's connected to this dock, which is super easy to use. Then all the cables are rounded behind the monitor and everything is mounted on this Vivo dual monitor mount. Honestly, I highly recommend this monitor mount because it was like $30 and it's really, really nice. And the cable management is actually not bad in the coding setup. For my mouse, I use the Ponage Ambi. This mouse is super, super dope because you can change all the skin and the colors on it. And for my keyboard, I use the Ajaz 966. This keyboard is full size, Bluetooth, and I love it, especially the keycaps. Now for my headset for listening to music, I use the Bose QC35. And for the mouse pad, this is actually a custom mouse pad. This design I came up with uh, myself and I printed it on Stream Elements back in the day when I used to stream on Twitch. Right above that setup, we have the nano leaf lines going all the way up and connected on the corner and then just going on the ceiling as well. I love the way they look. They light up the setup very well. Now, moving to the gaming setup. As much as I love my gaming setup, I don't use it enough at all. But for my PC, it's actually built in the Magnum Neo Cube 2 Infinity Mirror. Inside of it, there's a 3080 Ti Vision a Ryzen 5900X, 64 gigs of RAM, two terabyte of M.2 SSDs, a thousand watt power supply, and this dope AIO from Fantex. Then on top, we got a couple plants that I bought from Ikea. They're super fake, but I love the way they look. And then I have one in the back that actually hides the cables. It's pretty nice. And this little thing here, this is a $15 light that I use all the time when I lose things or when I want to light up my shot when I'm filming TikToks. I forgot to talk about my desk. This is Ikea linen tops that I wrapped myself. I bought some wrapping paper off of Amazon and we have three Alex drawers and some legs holding the whole setup. My main gaming monitor is an AOC 34 inch ultra wide 1440p 144Hz 1ms not IPS unfortunately and then I have a 4k vertical monitor that I use for discord and spotify. Now let's cover all the RGB I have above my setup. Behind the monitor I have these bars that I really dislike because they fall all the time. Then we got the Govi Glide one of my favorite RGB lights and then we have this uh, 3d clock in the middle right around i have actually hexagons that are pushed one inch off of the wall with a lot of rgb strips behind them a little bit tacky i wish i'd done it better but it is what it is for my gaming mouse pad i also have a custom mouse pad from skinny it's pretty nice it has my name on it i like the way it looks and for my keyboard this is a 120 dollar custom keyboard from banggood it has yellow switches it's pretty nice and then for my mouse this is my brand new main mouse this is the HyperX pulse fire wireless i love this mouse so much and for my microphone, I'm using an XLR mic from Zoom. This is a ZDM1. It's mounted on a Gator Frameworks boom arm. This boom arm is very, very nice. It moves really easily, and I love that I can tuck it away. And everything is plugged into this interface, which is basically a cheap Go XLR. And for my main speakers, I use these Edifier MR4 in white. And we have a USB 3.0 hub right here, so I don't have to plug everything to the back of my PC. Speaking of cables, the cable management is not bad. <laughs> I spent a lot of time trying to make these cables look really nice. Obviously, it's been really hard to maintain, but it's all right. Under the desk, we got these Godox TL120s. These are really expensive RGB lights. They cost like $300 each. Then moving on to this area, which is my background for a lot of my videos. This honestly is one of the cleanest areas in my setup. Then we have this Xbox Series X, which holds a very dear spot in my heart. It's from my brother-in-law who passed away two years ago. Over here, we have IKEA Scatty's pegboards. Got two of them. We have a katana hanging up here and we have an American flag from the day I became a US citizen, which is pretty cool. A couple extra keyboards that I'm planning on giving away soon to you guys. Some extra keycaps and some extra screws that are just sitting in these uh, pegboard stuff. And this magnetic holder that holds my knives and all my screwdrivers. It's a pretty cool thing. Then we have a couple controllers for when I play racing games, which I don't. And this holder, which has some extra stuff in it too. A couple of phone cases and my other headset. This is the QC35 wrapped in white. I also use this Rocket headset for gaming, which I do not like. 
for RGB, we have RGB behind the pegboards which shines on the wall. It looks pretty nice in my opinion. And we also have RGB going behind the desks all the way around to the coding setup. This whole wall is filled with these 3D printed panels from Amazon. They're pretty nice. Then we have a Govi rope going all around that wall which looks pretty nice. And then we have the iPad which has my followers count on it on TikTok. A power strip. And we have this really, really cool board. This is basically a board that lights up and you can write whatever you want on it. It costs like 20 bucks. And these are the Govi Hexa. I just added these to the door because I thought it would make a really cool background, which they do. And on this wall, we have the monster LED strip from Walmart. It costs 25 bucks. And we have some wall art from uh, V1 Tech in the middle. This neon RGB strip is actually really nice. And the final two things are my chairs, which I hate both of them. One of them I bought from Costco and the other one is from Autonomous, which should be a really good company, but this chair sucks. And that wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you threw a like on it or maybe subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And as I said, if you're interested in any of the products I just showed, they're all going to be linked down below in the description. Other than that, there's nothing else to say other than happy gaming and I'll see you next time. Bye.